telling me about art making. Well, yeah, I, I do feel like sometimes, and this sort of speaks to what I was just saying previously as well, that the, the old form becomes uh, uh, inundated or weighted down with artifice, you know, yeah. like uh, this is uh, the way that I understand you make a piece of theater, you know, and you do, you have the script, and then the actors say these lines at this point, and they emote these emotions, and you have a set designer and lights that come in the last week, and, and this is how you make theater, and like, but you, you, I feel like sometimes the why we made those choices in the first place are lost, you know, and it just, be, the, this becomes this new form that, that over time becomes hollow. Uh, or, or empty. I, I think of like naturalism, you know. Uh, I, I think at the time it was a, an attempt to get at something very, uh, something more human. Um, and I feel like over time, and this is, a lot of this I think good acting can overcome. Like I think good acting makes it, because I think ultimately good acting is actually very present in right. a space and it's very vulnerable and it's human and it's dangerous, but so I think often maybe I'm just talking about bad acting, <laughs> but uh, having said that, I feel like, you know, also with the, with the advent of film, I feel like film allows us to capture naturalism in a way that theater is, it's often hard in a theater because it's so artificial, like just the act of stepping in front of a crowd of people on a stage, it's already uh, unnatural. You know, and then you have to talk louder to project so that people yeah. can hear you. And it's also, um, to my thinking, often uh, not taking advantage of what is unique about theater, which is that we're all in the same space together. Uh, a lot of theater uh, asks the audience not to be there, like put up black curtains, don't look over here, don't look over here, uh, even though like if you were the audience member and I was the actor, I'm going to pretend that we're not in the same space together. Um, and, and I think I'm interested in the opposite of that, like I'm interested in really being present in a space together or creating uh, experiences or situations where if you're, we're having a live performance, then it's really live. You know, because I think in that sort of space, interesting revelations can happen. Or even just in terms of storytelling, I feel like it makes for better storytelling because then it becomes dangerous. And not necessarily physical danger, but just in terms of what's going to happen. It's, in some ways, it's the difference between being uh, a witness to something and being a spectator to something. I, I like this example very much. I'm very interested in what that means to be a witness. I think when you're a spectator, there's sort of a line between yourself and the audience, and when that line is removed, suddenly it's like, oh. And often I feel like in a theater production, those moments happen when something goes wrong, like a, some, a prop breaks or someone forgets their line, and suddenly the space is actually very alive. It's electric. It's like, oh, what's gonna, how are they going to react to this or deal with this problem? And, and uh, so I'm interested in creating a whole show where there's this element of danger, like what's going to happen? And it could be hilarious, you know? Yes. But I feel like the form of how we're telling these stories has gotten in the way of actual good storytelling. Um, but, you know, film can, you know, you can, uh, you can go on location so you're not having to sort of fake it so much. And you can get so close that people can be, actors can be very natural, um, not having to project across a 500 seat house. Um, and it, it, to me, that is a, a better medium for naturalism. I feel like Joe Public on a Friday night, uh, or they're thinking about a movie, or maybe hearing a band, or dinner, and they're not thinking about going to see theater. And I feel like that's probably because they've had some bad experiences when they were in high school or later, but I also feel like because it doesn't, on some level, it doesn't feel like relevant. Like this is like really speaking to uh, where we are right now, and, and I think the, the art form has to sort of evolve a little bit. Um, and that's happened to every art form, you know. We did this piece, uh, maybe the second year of Fusebox, where we had the audience sitting in a garage uh, and facing outwards, and then we opened the garage door, and then there was just, they were watching what happened 
out on the street, but we, we, we orchestrated some things, uh, but sometimes it was very unclear whether that was a piece of orchestrated movement or just actually a person walking down the street. Uh, and it was kind of this, you know, the art just became a frame to kind of look at this street that you've driven by a million times, but never sort of looked twice at, you know.